Thank you, Mr. Graham. I'll give you a call on the project. Wait. Wait. You don't even want to know how much is up in there? Well, the job is 200, so I'm assuming it's 200. It's, uh, it's actually 250,000. We don't accept tips. <laughs> look, look. It's not a tip. I'm, uh, I'm paying you to train me, all right? Mr. Graham. I need to, I need to be there. That's not. Look, look. <laughs> it's my fucking money, okay? We're halfway into the project, Mr. Graham. You can't we'll go just... about this project <laughs> however uh, I see fit, okay? She's my Mr. wife. Mr. Graham! Look, I'm the fucking project manager, okay? Mr. Graham! You ever killed anybody? You ever strangled a man until he stops breathing? You ever set a man on fire? Smell burning flesh? Heard him pray to his God? But no answer? You ever taken a chainsaw to a man's face? Heard the flesh and the bones rip? Not think a second thought about it? In fact, get paid for it? You know who probably has? Your fucking wife. She just didn't get a check this time. Because this husband survived. You got lucky. Oh, all right. We have a window of opportunity right now. We know who she is who she really is. We know where she lives. We know who she's living with. We don't have time to train you properly for this. Look, she's still my wife. She's still your wife? She's still my wife. She's not your fucking wife. Look, you don't even know her name. I know this sounds stupid, right? But I still love her, okay? She's still my wife, and I believe she kind of really still loves me too. That's dumb as fuck, Mr. Graham. This bitch tried to kill you. And you in love? That bitch never loved you. Look. You were just an opportunity. I get it, okay? I get it. Don't you think I know that? All right? I know she deserves to die. I know I was just some other paycheck to her. But I know, I know, I know. Somewhere in me, I know she knows that. I, and we bonded, man. You're wasting my time, Mr. Graham. You want my services or not? I survived, right? I think she let me survive. I survived for some, some sort of reason. It was real, okay? It was, it was deeper than rap, words to Rick Ross, okay? Look, I gotta be there because she needs to know more than money, more than revenge. She messed up a good thing, all right? She needs to, she needs to feel the pain that I fucking felt. She gotta die by the hands of somebody that she actually hurt. You understand? Nigga, please. Fuck that bitch. Okay, I I agree, but come on. You should be dead right now. Look at you. You all fucked up. Arm in a sling and shit. Limp into the fucking car. And you still love this bitch? What's her name? Look, I, 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 know, her, I know her name. What's her name? Her, her name is Brandy. What's her real name? Her real name. Her real name is Brandy Webb. That's not her name today. Are you, come on. <laughs> are you, are you telling me, are you sure? Randy Webb? <laughs> you ever seen a thin line between love and hate? Damn. Yeah, damn. So are we doing this or what? Yeah. Y yeah. Good. I have an excellent team of associates. So I'll be giving you a call. Look, what, what about the 50,000, okay? You can have that back. No tips. Look, it's not a tip. It's so you can fucking train me, okay? I gotta do it. I, at least, come on, I gotta do it now. Come on. Man, what the fuck? Are you serious? You, uh... You ever seen that movie Closer with uh, Nat Natalie Portman and Jude Law? What? What the fuck? Well, look, okay? Natalie Portman's character, right? That falls in love with Jude Law. Right? She never even really gives him her real name. You get it? So, he was in love. Or they were in a relationship. He was in a relationship with somebody that he didn't even know their real name. Hmm. I always kind of wanted Jude Law to find her. Kind of ask her. Why? I mean, at least why lie to me? <laughs> this is my time to find my Natalie Portman. <laughs> you know, that was really fucking corny. But I'll oblige. 
man. We do this in one month. Thank you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> but my arm, it doesn't come out of this thing for maybe maybe at least a month. Yeah, we're going to have to modify the training a little bit. But you're going to have to be in serious work mode, Mr. Graham. Need you to start today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. I'm ready. Nah, you're not ready. You're still in love. It's cool, though. Because in a month, I'm going to fill your heart with so much revenge, you see your history teacher and break his fucking nose for giving you so much homework. You'll smack the shit out of the bitch at Starbucks and give you seven creams when you clearly said six. And after that time, you'll be able to see that lying, backstabbing, treacherous, serial murdering, fake ass bitch, Veronica Vine, for who she really is. And then you put a bullet in her brain. Veronica Vine. Yeah. Now let's get to work. What's her name? Her, her name? What is her name? Her name is... Brandy. Brand, Brand, the bitch name is Brandy. <laughs> you at least gotta know her name. <laughs>